Hey everybody, Captain Listeners here. Welcome to Inkbound. This is a relatively new uh, roguelike that I've been following updates on and have recently purchased for the intense recorder for YouTube. I will try to walk you guys through it as we play it. I've played a mission already just to get my bearings and all that good stuff. Um, I need to talk to this guy real fast first. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. Just accepted a quest and all that. I leveled up. I don't know exactly what that does, but we'll go ahead and do a mission. Um, for our first mission, we'll go ahead and do a deep dive. You can find people to play with. I think it's up to four, might be three. Um, but we're not going to do that for the first episode because I want to be able to explain everything in real time and not try to get rushed or all that good stuff. Or I have to deal with like griefers or anything like that. So this is the uh, map selection after I talk to the tutorial you get to choose where you want to go I'm assuming these are like bosses the middle one being a squid the right one being a bird and the left one being some kind of uh, humanoid figure deal 45,000 damage sounds relatively easy to do as long as I build for it you'll find people to talk to sometimes they'll have quests and whatnot or uh, they'll just straight up have lore um, I would like to so shattered will I believe yeah so it tells you to the left of the card what the effect does or to the right in this instance I think we can't re-roll so this is probably going to help build our run this doesn't sound like the worst thing ever we'll go ahead and run it that means uh will is like energy for this game where you can um, attack multiple times and stuff like that and these are quests. On collecting an orb, take one damage. On your turn, minus 30 movement, gain 30 movement for the first time you defeat an enemy each turn. Um, at the bottom, I believe, is the reward. So it looks like either left or middle are probably the worst. I don't know which one is actually harder. We'll go with Vengewood just because it gives 125 quilling which is the currency of this game the little orange uh, orb as you can see the game is absolutely pretty to look at we got a potion which gives us um, movement nice zero to 30 movement and now we get to choose our path quilling or uh, tarnish the vault tarnish the vault are like upgrades and quilling is money so eventually you'll go to a shop where you can buy upgrades um, I guess we'll go Tarnish Vault. We want to try to build our run pretty quickly here, especially if we got to deal so much damage. Break everything nearby so we can uh, get more quilling. It's a cool little, and it's very pretty. It's a very cool roguelike too. We'll go ahead and start the fight here. So, every turn you get to move. You can tell where you can go with the uh, circle. This is an orb. It has uh, one spawn to every turn, I believe. You click it and it'll give you an extra energy, which is in the bottom right over here. This is my health. I don't know if you can see it too well. It says 50. I'm not covering up too much important stuff. In fact, if I move my camera like that, you can see it. I'm going to keep it down here, though, because I don't think it's going to be that important. So I would like to try to do as much damage as possible. If we collect this orb, the way we move is finalized. You can see the attack pattern or attack rings of each of the opponents. Some have global range, some do not. So if we can get out of everyone's range, we would like to. This is our jump attack. It'll help us move out of the way and do some damage. I think we just move out of the way in general and then do something like this. We can insta kill one of them. Okay, so we can't reach you without taking damage. Yeah, we just can't reach you without taking... I can't move. Yeah. What about you? you? You're probably the same. So we have three movement. If I... Okay, so if I jump right here, I can get out of the way, I believe. Yeah. And that's how we do it. We take no damage. We killed one. We have killed another. They all get closer. Now, this is global range. When no matter where you move, they have arrows pointing to you. So we're going to take damage unless we kill them. So let's deal damage to all of them. And then move so we can line two of them up. We won't be able to kill all, but we'll get pretty darn close. Yeah, so we're taking damage no matter what. Um, Yeah. 
not too much damage in fact i think some of that was shield damage i'm not 100 sure on that mechanic just yet and then we'll finish it off with our heavy strike and that's the fight it's a really fun game i hope i'm making it look more interesting than it may come across because it is very fun on combat gain an extra amount of quilling it's pretty nice these are like a relics um little buffs you get if you couldn't tell already ability power is a certain type of damage you can deal same thing with magic you can see in the bottom right here this is a uh, special or ability this is physical this is magic this is shield this is us uh critical uh chance and critical damage or vice versa speed and then not 100 percent sure what the last one is so it's kind of like a quick little uh, stat chart on a first turn gain five ability power so we could build an ability i don't know if any of these these are all physical and this is physical movement so i wonder if uh, movement also buffs this maybe it's a leap distance that'd be really cool um i'm gonna go for coin and shadow just for now because we can curate our run later on uh crit chance so yeah this is chance and this is damage fantastic i do like chance if i'm right that means we have an eight percent now we have 11 is that how it works can i see hold on i don't i don't know if i can see or not let's get rid of that um combat da -da -da -da. yes sure is there a way to see what these exactly do i'm assuming not fair enough all right well wait 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 maybe no uh um stats there we go so our crit chance is percent chance to gain yeah so we have 11 percent chance and then we deal 50 damage extra or is that 50 percent more yeah 50 percent more okay so it's exactly like i thought um and then we got critical bonk which is an only an upgrade for our first attack which is still pretty nice four percent chance with 75 extra damage if we can get to a build where i can use that multiple times that might be the best play I like burn though and it has such a wide range and it's such i think we go with scorching leap for now because there's going to be plenty of situations we need to get out of sorry i didn't read that um i used to play this in its early access when it was free so i kind of know a lot already but i don't know everything these are new abilities as well as you can see in the top right they're uh type we can have up to two more and then once we get more we can uh you know trade them out and stuff like that this is that i don't know what that is what is this marked is that marked no that's marked i don't know what that uh icon is um create a plant that grants plus one wheel for each turn it's on the ground could be really good for an amazing turn it cost one energy but if i leave it alone one turn it it can really help me i think i will pull that because when you upgrade it there's a bunch of cool upgrades for it like you can plant multiple or it's more strong or you gain buffs other than um just getting one will now we get a choice here quill don't know what that is and then free binding augment which is these are bindings if i haven't explained that already we have 151 let's see what a more powerful choice is first because you know it's a roguelike let's have a little bit of an exploration um sea breach gain 25 hp and despair oh so you gain okay uh full health plus 10 health for two okay yeah i'll do that so uh okay so those are like pros and cons to your character not just base stat augments uncommon superior glyph global is that that's what that was right we don't have any more uh diamonds i don't know what you call those shards so we'll probably go superior vault we might be able to uh get something good out of it i do know there's a key system in this game where you can find keys i don't know what kind of vaults they open or what uh vaults require a key all right so we want to plant this bad boy first and then we can almost kill everything here um boom this is a wait okay it's not a critical bonk yet if i move like this i can hit them both and i oh i got a lot of movement left yeah 
So I can just do this and uh, in turn, none of them hit me. I've killed everything but one. A few more spawn in. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I will grab this. Can I hit all of you? I can. Didn't do too much damage, but that will kill. And I can kill you. In fact, I think I'm going to hit you really, really hard. And then you're going to hit me no matter what. So I'm going to move over here. Make you work for it. Ensnared. <coughs> oh my goodness. That's a horrible movement, but debuff. We'll grab this. And can I hit everything? I can. Can I hit everything here? Everything but one. Let's kill you. And then since we can't do anything, we'll plant an orb. And then we'll just take a damage, unfortunately. And then we'll take the orb and kill him. See how this game works? Really cool. We'll go ahead and do that and then... There we go. It's a, it's so fun, especially when you're playing with other people. Oh my goodness. Quill and Catcher, again, I'm just like, on your turn, Restore 1 HP is also really good to heal. And that's every time it's my turn, so I can kind of milk that a little bit. Yeah, we'll go with that. 10% more Quilling. We only have 200, so we would only gotten 20 extra. It's not the best. Um, crit damage, magic power, poison. Crit damage, because we do want to go for the critical bonk again, if we can. That's pretty nice. It has a two-point cooldown, right? Four. It has four, so it'd make it three. Eh. Quick leap being every turn, though. Sounds nice. Or every other turn. Evasive. I'm being hit with the direct attack dodge instead. Lose one stack. On start of turn, lose all stacks. I like that. So if they have a... Okay, so we're buffing our cultivate for now. We can go to the shop or... Gain a free binding augment and capab capability of buying another. We know what this does. We don't know really what this does yet. Tethered of Shrine. Let's take a quick look. Fountain of Wisdom. Okay, so this is... Okay, that's fair enough. We'll just get three physical power. That'll help us beat up uh, enemies. And then Glyph Global is that ball that gives us the debuff for diamonds or quilling. We'll go with another superior vault. We do have potions if we ever need to use it. And let's go ahead and crack all these uh, fount or, uh, statues open. There's a potion here I can't grab. You know what? I want to drop you and I will use one of these this turn. Because that one's actually really good. I will pop this. That should make it funny. Can I kill all these guys? There's no way, right? Um, reduce cooldown of a random binding and gain 30 movement. It's not really worth it right now. I will plant this. Do I pick it up? No, no one's doing a global attack, so I will not. Um, can I kill one of you? I can't. And I move out of the way and I take no damage this turn. Couple more spawn. And then if any of them get global, we do have that uh, plan. More than one have global. Fair enough. I will consume this. Sure, we'll plant another. Pick up that. We got a vase. So we're dodging at least one attack. Can I kill? I don't know if I can hit all three. There we go. Okay, and we got to deal with two more. I don't think I can... Well, I got to kill you. Now, I'm only getting hit by him. So, can I full commit to you? I think I can. In turn, I get hit. I dodge it. But I also become ensnared. So, even if you dodge it, there are effects. Wow, that's a lot. I don't know how I feel about that. Um... Wow, that's that's kind of shameful, actually. Um, let me do a group attack here. Can I kill you two? 
Super Smash you. And can I reach you? Oh, it's so close. Oh, All right, so I'm gonna get hit a little bit, but I do have uh, I have one evasive, so I dodged one. It's a win and buy book, Chief. I'm just gonna full commit to this right here. Now, I am curious, if they have to attack through each other, does it work like that? It might. That it that wasn't reliable enough for me to really double uh, double down on it. I can't hit you both. Can I? can I hit you both from like this? Oh come on! Okay, well we can just kill him, right? I gotta be difficult for no reason. Yeah, there we go. On your turn, if you took no damage the previous turn, gain a critical charge on all bindings. Ooh. So that'd be like a a first turn type of deal. Cultivate would go hard with it though. Maybe. I'm being hit down 98 physical damage to the attacker and plus 10 health. 98 physical damage is a lot, right? How much do you do? 59? That's like a free bunk. And you get 10 health. We'll go with that for now. And that's Superior Vault, so we like those. One physical power. Burn damage. After the enemy attacks, I suffer burn. And I usually want to kill. We'll go ahead and do this because first turn, you, they usually don't have a global ranged attack. Um, gain one shield for each enemy hit. That's pretty nice. All right, so it looks like we're fully committing to the leaping strike. Go ahead and move forward here. Uh, we use both potions, so let me go back for the other potion now that I remembered. What is this? Uh, oh yeah, that's the uh, debuff if you. Oh, so your potion disappears if you pick it up before a fight. Good to know. Good to know. Or if you don't pick it up before a fight. Deal 50 damage. Okay, these are new bindings. I don't know if I want any of them. Is this a movement? This is, right? Yeah. It costs one, though. It's every five. Eh. We'll probably go with burn, just because we can leap in there and then burn and then hop out. Powerful choice is the really good... We'll go with that. We might be able to inflict more burn somehow. Give me more quilling. And then we want to try to hit up a shop relatively soon. Create four glyphs after two encounters. Gain a stat boost. Create an epic vestige after four encounters. Sure. I'm a big fan of wait and get rewarded in the future for it. Uh, we don't want to restore HP. We're looking pretty shiny. This is a shop, so let's see what they have. Uh, gain two stacks of shattered will. On 10, gain one will. That's not really that great. We've seen you before. Gain critical charge of a random binding plus 15 crit damage. Pretty nice. And it's only 70. Your damage from physical magical smite deal 50 magic. Well, that is it is rare. On defeating an enemy, smite the nearest enemy. That could be another. Well, I usually kill all a bunch of small ones at the same time. So this could be good. We're gonna get it. We'll get this too, and we'll re-roll. And honestly, give me this, and we'll leave. I can't use this, unfortunately. Can you what do you have? The standing in my life. Can you move? Okay, the sorry. This is a boss fight. Last time on my first mission, I died to this, so. Uh, best of luck. I don't have any potions to bring into it, unfortunately. And doesn't look like there's any consumables or anything around, so let's uh, get it started. Lusk the Blight Bag. So, immediately, we're going to do this. Then we five this. Um, then we four. Does this power orb go away? That's my question. And then we'll hit you once. And we'll in turn. We'll see if it goes away. I don't think it goes away. Oh, did I get hit? Maybe I didn't see that correctly. Now, we have evasive. We gain a power orb and this, and we can smack. 
you know what first we'll do this hit you twice then smack down but we do have evasive now so it's it's not like uh we're really worrying yet uh and then we'll do this so he'll attack and he should miss good and then he takes a lot of burn damage oh my goodness uh smack down wait his attack pattern is pretty far but i think it should be fine yeah more than fine it says i'm still taking damage oh that's a global range it, it didn't look like it maybe it's because he hit this uh, milestone oh my goodness all right so we can't smack down and hit more than two unfortunately so I think we'll smack down like right here grab the orb hit four um, I don't think it matters where we place it really but just in case and we'll try to move all the way out we're, oh my goodness look how much damage we're taking still wait do they all have global range they might all have global range and I'm an idiot. <laughs> that might be what I'm seeing and I'm being an idiot about it. Fair enough. Okay, so can I do this then? I can. Let's kill you. And we have a dodge, so we should be fine. Okay, well, fine, I guess a little bit can't hit more than one again but we might be able to kill no we want to do five and then group attack and then kill you okay so we're getting hit a little bit we're doing really good though we're doing really good he has one health and I wonder if we kill him does it kill everything else it does fantastic so we took more damage than we should have. That's only because I was learning the game. Bot cost zero the first two times on use. Inflict 25% more damage to burn enemies. Or larger area of effect can now hit more than one enemy. That's really nice. That is like my heavy hit. If I can hit multiple any enemies, it becomes like a better bonk. or deal 25% more because I leap maybe this is the play then I, we're going with the leap build I should have maybe checked this out first maybe and we can ascend leaping strike okay does it keep its buffs though leap a long distance and deal 84 damage in a moderate area on hitting an enemy for the first time with this binding gain a moderate amount of quilling or this which is the exact same but it does slightly more damage and it's longer range and by default it inflicts burn hmm i like the same amount of uh cooldown honestly oh it's magic is that a physical hmm I like the if we're doing burn we don't try to flick burn as often as possible I'm sorry and now as we get to the resting hub I believe um, there's three acts to each uh, mission or three acts to each uh, little level that's why we don't spend money on healing um, crit damage physical power crit chance crit chance and now we get to choose another curse to fit this and then we fight the boss afterwards um, six damage resist so that's just damage okay that's all types of okay if we can kill them when they get to half health then we win we'll do the uh 35 more damage if they're uh, half health or below also meet the counselor eh. also we're uh, a quarter of the way there to deal uh, 45 000 damage a brightly colored notice catch it a brightly colored notice catches your attention the word scrawled in quick claustrophobic script new wares for your needless drop by and consider investing in a marvelous new inventory carver sure sounds good man 
Listen. I don't want to listen. Sorry. I've been trained too much by Zelda. Um, glyph or heroic? Heroic, I think, is the one that requires a key, but we're going to risk it for the biscuit and see. Give me all the quilling, brother. Brother Bound by Ink. That's a good title. Brother Bound by Ink. I like it. <clears throat> so, with our newfound capabilities, this should hurt. And then we're going to burn them all. And then we're going to plant a seed of friendliness somewhere. We have two energy left. Can I kill these two? Oh, it's so close. They're both going to hit, but they both die after they hit me, right? Oh, okay. So one hit first and it died. Great. Okay. Works out for me. I would like to... I don't know if I can get my orb necessarily. I can. But I have to kill these guys first. That's the issue. Gain ability power. I don't think that helps me at all right now. Hmm. Can I inflict burn and then kill? I can't reach it yet. That's a sh wait, wait, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so I gained evasive. So there's not a darn thing he can do about it. Right? I should take no damage. Awesome. And then he's dead next turn. Works for me. We do want to grab the orb. Oh boy. Alright, so we have four. Uh this does a crit. So we'll pop this. Can we kill? We can we can't. Man. He's dead after we take damage, which is fine enough, I guess. <coughs> Two physical and one shielding. Which is nice because of the global range that some of the enemies have. Or if we smite enemies. Do we have any way to smite? I don't believe we do. On a turn, a random binding gains plus one cost discount and it reduces the cooldown. Wow, that's really good. These are all really good. <clears throat> I like this because of the one shielding that helps us a lot, but also this could help with, uh, I mean, you know, make one free for a turn. I'm assuming for one use. Good Lord. My voice one second. All right. So hopefully my voice is a little bit better. I don't know why it's, it, you know, when you drink water or something like that, they like kind of fogs up the throat a little bit. So what I'm expecting, not really water. It's kind of. It's this right here. I know it looks, uh, it's green screened out. I promise you it exists. It's uh, water, a giant gallon of water. And I uh, poured some lemonade uh, juice into it to make it taste a little bit better. I don't know why I went Italian there. Um, I think I'm gonna choose the first one. I had to choose eventually. Choose an item to replace. Oh, you can only have a certain amount. Fair enough. We'll get rid of you. I totally forgot about that too. Um, f plus four burn damage. I mean, or crit chance. No, I think we always burn damage. We're, we've already full committed to it. Mega smash cultivated will on pickup game plus one. We already have that. I'm. Oh, that's cool. So it becomes free or we can add on pick. So this would gain two wheel, right? <clears throat> Which is pretty darn good. Or a bigger smash. Man, that would do like 300 something damage. We are going for a burn build though. Let's go for a burn. Gosh darn it. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of committing. <clears throat> Gain a free binding augment and capability of buying another. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to finish up leaping uh, strike if we can. And we got a little bit of quilling. Um, gain critical charge on a random biting on pickup, which is pretty nice. Inflict one stack of burn. If already inflicted with burn, also inflict one stack to nearby enemies or make a smash. 
Let's reroll. I'm feeling exciting. And for like plus five, how much does this already do? And oh, so that'd be ten. So that'd be a hundred damage at the end of their turn. Wowzers. And I'm assuming we can only choose one: defense leap or dense leap. That isn't worth it. Doing only about 110. Da well, 110 damage. I think we can find a better upgrade. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> and then uh Ooh, we can use that every other turn. It's green though. I think we can find better than green. <clears throat> hmm. That could be pretty nice too. To get an extra hit out of enemies or We'll go with this. Just every other turn just sounds amazing. And we'll go with Glyph Globe again. This shouldn't be too, too hard now that I'm uh, cracked out of my mind. I'm leaped out of my mind, brother. Okay, we can't. It looks like he. Yeah, he has a lot of resist. Um, Can we hit all of you? Grab the orb. You're the only one hitting me now, aren't you? So if I move out of range, yeah, I'm unstoppable. Wait, before I do, I want to pop this. Oh, he dodged it. But he still has burn, so I'm not an idiot. And then we'll pop a seed here and enter. <clears throat> Did that just do 266 damage? Did that just do 266 damage? Um, I will smash these two. And then I will smash. I can't hit multiple. So I'll just try to full commit on hitting this guy. That doesn't kill. So very close. I'm still, I, I got evasive though. So yeah, he missed. Haha. <laughs> and we also got a critical bonk, which is fantastic. Um, I would like, I shouldn't have grabbed that just yet maybe. Oh, that hits everything. Oh my goodness. His, it's an infinite attack, but it looks like it's just weak, I guess. Peculiar. Oh, I, I blocked it for, okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I have a feeling you're still going to die. Ah, you don't die yet, that gummit. I think I took a little bit of damage there. That's fine. Glyph Globe gives us. Oh, that's what that is. I'm an idiot, maybe? Question mark? Four. Yeah, four burn damage. Give it. On defeating an enemy, spawn an orb, uh, gain critical charge on a random, which would be amazing, or inflict shatter. This would make other bonks better, but it's not usually my first play. I think we just get uh, gain critical on a random uh, binding because we can actually plant that pretty quickly. Potion supply. We do need potions. A yoink. Binding tuner. Incendiary. So this increases big time. Oh. Oh. So I can tie this in with my leap to do an insane amount of damage. Because this deals how much um, burn? Seven. So I could double it to 22, or I can immediately deal damage on top of my leap. This kills quicker, technically. But for boss fights, this is insane. As long as I, I, I feel like we need boss killing potential, I'm handling these mini fights very quickly. Sure, we'll go with a uh, forgotten power to harness. We'll see what it's about. <clears throat> this is what it's about. Plus four burn damage. This is really cool. It's such a fun game. I mean, rare augment. Sure. Just because I don't know what those uh, those shards seem very rare. So I'd like uh, more of them. Yes. 
Yes, please. All right, let's get it. Mm, get ready, you know. Hang on, my brother. So, um, I'm doubling burn. I'd like to do this first. Collect the orb. Five. Yeah. Oh, so you can't. Oh my goodness, that's a lot, actually. Holy moly. I'll plant an orb. I think I smash again. And then I'll super hit you to kill you. And I am a fool. I'm taking a little bit of damage. What are you doing up there, buddy? Glass cannon. Oh, okay. That's cool. So, immediately right off the bat. Smash. Yoink. Kill. Um, kill. Thank you kindly. Kill. And I take... Not, not necessarily all the damage yet. I can kill one more. And then I can try this out and see if he body blocks. No, it, it looks like they just walk uh, past each other. I've like almost practically confirmed it unless I'm missing something. I will do this just so I can five. Um, I can hit all of them and we're about to find out. Does this hit? This doesn't hit multiple. It's just, yeah. Secret of the ooze purple. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Basically, if you end up in your turn in the ooze, you take damage. That's all you got to really know. Um, can I kill you? Doesn't look like it. Wait, can I hold up? Can I smash to inflict burn and then run away? Yeah. So no matter what, I'm taking damage from you. So I might as well not kill you. And then you kill yourself. Uh, get wrecked. Scrub. Um... This will hurt. I will plant a seed. And then smack you a little bit. And retreat. Because next turn, I have no doubt you'll have a global ring attack. Uh, GG. I said GG. <laughs> I leveled up. I don't know what leveling up does. Oh. They have a battle pass? Interesting. Okay, just a bunch of cosmetics, it looks like. If I'm right, I hope I'm right. A uh, reroll or pass. Uh, six burn damage. I'm so good, though. Like, I'm, I'm doing so much burn. Cultivated will. We already have it. Wait, are these upgrades? Augment a binding. Yeah. So, we can gain another will. Is that good? It's a great... Uh, we could reroll. We got a lot of reroll potentials. Uh, Scorching Bonk might actually be the play. Because we can leap, Scorching Bonk, and then we can uh, five to double everything afterwards. I think that's what we try. Miser's Purse. Gain 20% more quillings on your first turn. If you have 600 quillings or more, gain 10% or 10 ability power until the end of the combat. 20% more quilling is better than this, I'm assuming. So we'll get rid of that. I don't know how long we're going to need uh, quillings, but we are about to visit a shop anyways. Oh, we're almost there. Look at that. I... I'm an idiot. Got an eye for craftsmanship. 99 quillings is all I need. Can you move the stand? That sucks I spent that because... Well, these aren't that good. I would have liked uh, that, though. Dang it. Oh, that hurts my heart. I'm an idiot. Why did I heal? I saw a fountain. I'm like, oh, free heals. I can probably go back after I beat this mission. Uh, maybe not. Um, there's no secret path here. There's no objects to break. Let's do it. The Rhine Inferno. So, what did I say? Um, do this, and then Bonk now does burn, right? It does. And then five. Can I kill you? No. Um, I don't know. You're taking 40, so that's two. 
2,000 burn damage. You're, you're joking me, man. You pull him a leg. I'm taking damage no matter what, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So I just plant a seed here and call it a day. Or, no, I'll call it a day. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I wish I had something that hit all of them at once, but fair enough. Uh, oh, I dodged everything because of evasive. Okay. Not much of my health. It, yeah, it looks like it. Fantastic. And I completed the quest. Let's go, boys. They said it couldn't be done. And, like, he is taking so much burn damage, right? He has 8,000 health. He took none. How much? Okay, can I can I see how much burn you got, Frando? 18, so that's 810. All right, so it looks like he got rid of it. Fair enough. We gotta kill you. Sorry. Um, I take no damage right here. Plant a seed. End my turn. I will grab the seed now. Bada bing. And oh, I'm taking so much damage. This looks like it's the least amount of damage I take. Yeah, right here. Unfortunate. Oh, I could have grabbed the orb. I didn't even look at it. I was too busy looking at my screen. Um, it's so much burn though. Like, are you 1800 damage? You're almost dead. Three hundred HP. All right, yeah. So we we got a build going on. Absolutely. Nice. Binding tuner. Bonk. Gain one stack of heat. Is all right, but twenty-five percent chance to get an orb. Sounds pretty cool, and it does the same amount of damage. So. A stack of heat is um, granting one ability power. This isn't ability power, magic. So I don't think burn would be affected by it. We'll just go for that. We actually could have, might have been able to reroll. I didn't take a hard look at it. Um, on pickup. This is magic. This is magic. Gain. Wow. Okay. But that's the last upgrade I can get for it. It's purple. This guarantees the quilling effect, though, and it does burn as well. <clears throat> but this... This doubles. I think I gotta go for the seed. I, I hate it, but also, like, I know it's it's very powerful. Claim rewards. What is this? Item draft reward available. What do you mean? Is it because I leveled up or something? Are these these items down here? I believe it is. Um, on dodging, the vestige gains one ability power. Collect an orb, ten ability. Um, these are horrible. Uh, there. Interesting. We'll heal. We took a lot of damage. Hey, listen. Uh, I'm good. Uh, six burn damage. Yes, please. How much burn damage do I have? Twenty-six. Uh, which is t that's. 260% more burn, right? Is that what it is? Oh, wrong button. Uh, where is it? Stats. Here. That's 260%, right? Oh, no. That's 26 per stack. Okay. That, that's even better, I think. So each instance of burn is one damage, and I add 26 to it. Is there anything over here? And we're on the last uh, area where we have to fight the uh, squid guy. Mm, the squid man. I don't appreciate that. I'll do this. And then I'm going to smack you a whole bunch. And then I'll grab this and smack you again. 
and then double your burn which actually like triples I guess and I'm taking very little damage sign me up I will stand right here did it just die I'm gonna be honest I did not expect to die uh, that quickly you have armor the rest of these guys are actually kind of tough yeah it's really tough I'm really good at uh, I'm really good at killing a single enemy like really good and cultivated plant helps me uh, secure that I can kill it you know go ahead and grab it right I can hit all of them and then can I kill one that kills then I'll smack you leaping strike can I hit both I can and I'm taking no damage because of evasion and the armor my wow, armor really clutch all right and then we want to do this I'm failing horribly and then uh, we'll click five and we'll double your burn so you're like a uh, dead kid Yeah, I'm not too bad at uh, taking on multiple on critting reduce all cooldowns by one twice per turn um, I'm defeating an enemy inflicted with burn and the this vestige gains one burn damage Is that what I think it is does that mean every time I kill a burned enemy no matter what turn or what combat I'm in after that it just it just does more uh, we will reroll you know what we have seven of them can we go for a higher burn I'll do I'll, I'll okay I'll go with four I'm sorry I didn't mean to waste all of it now we'll reroll sure we'll make it free the extra burn is actually uh, going to be pretty nice, especially for bosses and whatnot. Uh, AOB also look out. We have a 205. Don't do that again. Well, I appreciate it there. Needless. Purchase the cabinet of trinkets from him. Can you, move? you? From whom? Who's a counselor? Who do I need to talk to? <clears throat> All right, now we move forward. Oh, this is a boss fight. All right, we're, we've encountered the end of the game. 48 minutes in. This has been really fun. I, uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. We're not at full health. I think we got this. Let's try it. Oh, they get a cutscene now. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. So. Does this mean it, reset, it like gets rid of all its uh, debuffs? Is that what the uh, each milestone is? That could be a problem. Um, I will take this. Probably, I misplayed that. Oh, I misplayed it so hard already. So if I do this, I do want to plant a seed before I uh, full commit, and then we will double your burn. Uh, make you lose almost 2,000 HP at the end of this turn, which isn't a lot. But wait, there's gonna be more. While that's ticking on him, we can try to focus on everything else. We don't take the cultivated plant just yet. We got armor, we're defending. We don't take it just yet either. Um, which ones are low health? I can't tell. I'm assuming it's you two. Or I killed one. I don't remember now. 
Well, looks like I kind of put myself in a corner here, so we're just gonna smack smack. You got, oh, he's got, yeah, so it does remove it. That's worrisome. It does remove it. Um, well, shucks. What I can do then is do this number right here. Smack him twice for free. That's 700, so we'd make it do a little bit more. He's halfway. Let's um, let's plant another seed. Smack him the rest. Five. That should kill him or bring him down to the next milestone next time, I believe. And we have two seeds. We'll take one that should give evasion i'm kind of thinking we take another which will give us another evasion we're still taking so much damage oh we don't we don't take near as much damage from right here and then do we just smack him a whole bunch i guess the answer is yes we do so we saved a lot of health from that he got rid of his burn, unfortunate. Um, but I think we can actually finish this off, hopefully, next turn. Still taking a lot of damage. Is there any way out of it? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it, so I'm just gonna full commit. Thank you, armor. Thank you, armor. Does that reduce all my cooldowns now? This does. So I'm gonna plant this. Oh, we're about to die. Unless I move out of the way. Um, if I jump like over here, does that? I gotta, I gotta kill some of these. Mm, that's, oh, at least I got my five and I got a gold to plant. So next turn is the turn we gotta kill. Oh, and I got an orb. And I got another orb. Um, and now we just uh, get cultivated plant and we just smack them. Oh, I'm losing health in the puddle. Oh, no. Did I just drop the ball hard? Oh, I, I dropped the ball. Nope, I'm alive right here. And I think that's a kill. Oh my goodness. I almost failed. That was my first on camera run. Ascend to me. I'm ready to be ascended. That was a really nice run. I, I burned meta works. That was really cool. So what is this? Achievements? That's pretty cool. And then I'm assuming it's like a battle pass season thing, maybe? Milestones, uh, I don't, XP, what is XP for? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about any, I don't know what I'm reading or anything like this. Um, but cool, very cool. I gotta learn a little bit more off camera, but that was the first episode of Inkbound. Now, just for you guys at home, what does this do? Ooh. Interesting, so you can make it more difficult, I'm assuming. Um, I'm gonna do all the quests off camera. Um, that has to do with the hub, but there is a m something I want to show you guys. Oh, there's a cabinet of trinkets. Okay. Interesting. So what does this do? Oh, so there's a, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to look at that later and I'll uh, introduce you guys. They've changed a lot about the layout since uh, the uh, public access uh, play test. I'm trying to figure out how to change my character. Reforming clothes. Yeah, no, this is a cosmetic change. Um, there's got to be a way. I just uh, edit the video. Cut it. There we go. I found it finally. So there's different characters, and some of them I'm assuming. Yeah, you got to kind of play the game a whole bunch, and I'm excited to try them. But we did uh, magma miner, and as you can see, they uh, they have a high uh, complexity, which is gonna be really fun. And it looks like they're coming out with more characters too soon. 
So, uh, be ready for that. The, each character probably has like five builds, four builds. So, on top of that, we're having at least 20 episodes. And that's disregarding all the losses I'll possibly have or the runs that'll be very similar, just built slightly different and enough to warrant a, a quest completion and a video on it. But this has been Inkbound. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I'll I'm enjoying it and I'll be recording a lot for it in the near future. But if you liked it and you would like to show your support, drop a like down below, comment what you thought of the video and what you'd like to see in the foreseeable future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.